House leadership's latest trick. We'll talk about it. It's June 14th, 2024, and these are your headlines. A group of House Republicans are attempting to steer the conversation away from ending Democrat chairmanships, instead signing on to a series of priorities that conspicuously omits a ban on the practice. And this comes after 46 current and incoming members recently signed a pledge to only vote for a Speaker of the House that doesn't put Democrats in charge, doesn't put them in leadership positions. 21 of those members thus far have also signed on to the Contract with Texas, a series of 12 proposed House reforms to end power sharing with Democrats and emphasize Republican legislative priorities. Now enter the Texas Conservative Commitment. Sounds very similar, right? Perhaps on purpose. With 10 planks, the pledge largely mirrors the legislative priorities passed by the Republican Party of Texas earlier, or, or I should say rather last month at their convention, but with softer language. It also includes property tax relief and universal school choice. Sounds good, right? Well, let's put this in context. Notably missing is ending Democrat chairmanships. And while the exact source of the Texas conservative commitment is still unknown, it's believed to stem from members that are close to current House leadership. Just look at who's signed on and you can see that. A former Republican Party of Texas chairman, Matt Rinaldi, turned attention to the 26 members that signed the Texas conservative commitment, but have not signed the pledge against Democrat chairs. We've got that list on our website of the article. You can see those members. Current chairman of the Republican Party, Abraham George, said, quote, while it is always encouraging to see lawmakers work together to advance conservative policies, the Texas conservative commitment is clearly designed to advance alternative policies in lieu of the Texas GOP legislative priorities. He went on to say, most frustratingly, this commitment is silent on the issue of Democrat chairs, which members of Speaker Dade Phelan's leadership team are trying to protect. Tom Oliverson, who's running for Speaker of the House, he didn't sign the Texas conservative commitment. He said he would prefer to pass the, uh, pass the Republican Party of Texas's priorities. Representative Shelby Slauson, who's also running for speaker, signed both the Texas conservative commitment as well as the pledge to end Democrat chairs. Tom Oliverson said this document lacks any of the process reforms necessary to achieve these objectives, like the ones I've articulated in my speaker campaign, those found in the contract with Texas, and certainly the pledge signed by 46 House members pledging never to vote for a speaker who appoints Democrat chairs. Representative Brian Harrison called the effort pathetic. Not all the reaction has been negative, however. The Texas Public Policy Foundation praised the efforts in a press release today, with their CEO, Greg Sindelar, saying he was, quote, thrilled to see Texas conservatives coming together over a positive and proactive policy agenda for the next session. Following Governor Greg Abbott's release of a list of the top 10 most wanted illegal aliens in Texas, another man from the list has been captured. DPS special agents from the Criminal Investigations Division arrested Victor Hugo Chalks Gonzalez yesterday in Fort Worth. Gonzalez, by the way, also happened to be the number one most wanted fugitive on the list, with a posted reward of up to $5,000. He was booked in the Tarrant County Jail. He was wanted for numerous crimes, including aggravated sexual assault of a child indecent sexual contact with a minor, and failing to ID as a fugitive. His criminal history includes child cruelty, resulting in the possibility of either injury or death, familial assault, driving with, while under the influence of drugs with a child under 15 years old, and other illegal activities. He had been arrested numerous times. Just last year, the Arlington Police Department issued warrants for his arrest for aggravated sexual assault of a child and indecent sexual contact with a child. Governor Abbott said Texas won't stop until all criminals on the list are behind bars. America is at a crossroads. Now more than ever, Texas must step up and lead the country. We don't have time to mess around. The only way to save America is with a strong Texas. You and I know this, but so do the enemies of life and liberty. Therefore, you and I have no choice but to stand up and fight. I'm Sarah Gonzalez, and to the enemies of liberty, I say, come and take it.
Newly released results of academic performance assessments show that state schools are failing Texas students. Today, the Texas Education Agency released results from the 2024 STAR test for students in grades 3 through 8. The results include assessments in math and reading uh, for students in 3rd through 8th grade, 5th and 8th grade science, and 8th grade social studies. Not only did student performance decline compared to 2023 in almost every category, the percentage of 3rd through 8th grade students meeting grade level in the assessed subjects was a failing 26 to 54 percent. Texas Education Commissioner Mike Morath blamed the significant gaps in mathematics achievement on, quote, pandemic-induced disruptions. The report followed disappointing end-of-course assessment results released last week that showed students' academic performance held steady or declined in most subjects. Even worse, just 45 to 69 percent of high school students met grade level in the assessed subjects. According to the TEA, STAR results help parents know how well their child learned this year's academic material and whether their child is on track for success in future grades and after graduation. For more today's stories, go to texasscorecard.com.